Reno police are investigating reports of a white pickup truck driving into a f uh, group of 40 Native Americans protesting uh, Columbus Day, peacefully, I might add. Now, we're gonna talk about that, but before, let's take a look at the video. It's kind of horrific. They got the license plate, that's good. Oh, they have, they, they figured out who it is too. Holy shit. Okay, so that's a lot to take in, and from afar, it looks a little bit more, and it sounds a little bit more horrific than, uh, thankfully, what, act what happened. Only a 59-year-old woman was injured and had to go to the hospital. Three more people were injured. Nothing life-threatening, thankfully. And um, what's really interesting about this is that the 18-year-old who was driving the pickup truck and the 17-year-old who was sitting in the passenger seat first were launching slurs, allegedly, at the group of people and they were kind of circling around, and then they w drove into the middle of the protest, uh, and the protesters were heard shouting, stand your ground, stand your ground. And then after the events happened, they went under the Reno sign, where it says like the biggest little city in the world, and they called the cops. So they called the cops on themselves, basically. And the police are saying that uh, the two individuals were cooperating with them fully, and also they let them go. Now. Um, some people are saying that this is a hate crime. I want to hear if you believe that this is a hate crime or not, and I have some other questions after that. But let's start with that one. Wow. I mean, we, just to, to be quite honest, it's it's a lot to watch. You know, I still think I'm, I'm kind of coming down from seeing that video. It's really difficult to watch. Uh, is it a hate crime? You know, Hassan, I'm, I'm going to have to say yes. Um, because I, I, I mean, and I, and I know that the boundaries of what constitutes a hate crime is is hard to define. Um, but in this case, given that they were yelling slurs beforehand, it seems like they were sort of antagonizing the protesters who were protesting peacefully, as I understand. Uh, yeah. I have to I have to say that yeah, this this strikes me as a hate crime. This strikes me as a, se a seventeen and eighteen year old kid being really, really stupid and hateful. Um, it's, pre it's, it's heartbreaking. What's interesting is that these, so these people were Native Americans protesting both Columbus Day but, uh, and also the North Dakota oil pipeline. But then this incident occurred because they were Native American. If we are to assume that it was definitely a hate crime. Now, but do what's you, really- so Do you think it was a hate crime? Um, so the only, so looking at all the evidence, if we look at all the eyewitness testimonies, um, because they mention, uh, in, order to, in order to define something as a hate crime, you need to understand the intention behind it. If someone is um, driving, someone is specifically targeting a group of individuals, those group of, that, that group was on the road, as you saw. So the only reason for me not to think that it would, be, for, the only reason why I would say, oh, maybe it's not a hate crime, and I'm not saying this, but the only reason why, the, the only defense that they would have in that instance is I was worried for my life because they were surrounding the car. And they really were, and that's why I had to drive away. Now, that's one defense that they can use. I'm not saying that that's what happened. And the reason why I think that it probably is a hate crime, hate crime is because all of the testimony from the surrounding individuals were like, they were driving around. They even said, um, one, one witness said, I heard the driver ask one of the protesters, do you want me to kill your homies? And that really set everyone off. That's what he told the Associated Press, which then, then you have a motive, then you have intention, then it kind of goes along with the rest of the story, regardless of what they might say. However, hate crime or not, they assaulted, that's uh, vehicular manslaughter. Like he, they attempted to kill someone with a two ton vehicle Attempted vehicular manslaughter. Attempted vehicular manslaughter, but regardless, like, and they weren't promptly arrested. It doesn't matter how cooperative you are. If someone, uh, white, black, Native American, yellow, brown, it doesn't matter. If someone shot another individual and then were called the police shortly thereafter, the police would arrest them. Mm -hmm. They would. They would bring them in, they would arrest them. It doesn't matter how cooperative they are, but in this instance, for some weird reason, 
they didn't immediately arrest them, which I don't really understand. Do you feel like there was racial bias in the fact that they let them go? Well, Reno's mayor did say, this incident is troublesome and it saddens us deeply. I take these matters very seriously and I believe they must be investigated thoroughly and promptly. So I don't want to just immediately jump the gun and be like, there's definitely racial bias. I think it could have easily been because they were um, compliant, I guess, and young. That's another reason why they could be. Um, I think what's troubling about this is that they deliberately inserted themselves into a situation and they really were pouring gasoline on the fire and they were, um, they started, they instigated uh, this sort of yelling match, it sounds. And I don't understand how someone could have that much hate in their heart that instead of just driving away and going about their lives, they're 17, they're 18 years old, they have their whole lives ahead of them, they instead for whatever reason, have so much hate programmed inside them that they felt the need to start something and indeed to finish it when they drove or attempted to, to kill uh, these people. And in fact, one woman was injured and she's close to my- with injuries. Yeah, she's close to my parents' age. It's like, what sort of, what sort of, what hate, that is, you know what I mean? It's a, that's, a, that's such rage inside you that's just gotta be boiling. Um, what I, I don't understand um, that yeah, temperament, so, and I hope I never do. So what I what I originally was alluding to is like, are you like that obsessed about your Italian heritage? Let's say that you're like Columbus Day is a very important holiday for me. That anyone that protests it must be eliminated. Or are you that invested in having in making sure that the North Dakota pi oil pipeline goes through these uh, Native American territories over the burial grounds? Like, is that why you were uh, driving your car and starting an altercation with these people. So that's the only reason why I feel like there's definitely racial bias. If you saw a group of individuals and you weren't directly, like, and you were protesting their protest, right? Because that's initially what started this altercation that turned into something almost deadly. And if you were to do that, there would be, there has to be a reason. Are you, are you that invested in the North Dakota oil pipeline? Or is it because it's a group of Native Americans and you just felt like they are lesser than you as individuals in society? And how dare they ask for more? How dare they sit in the middle of the road and protest for their own rights? And um, something that they find to be incredibly important for their culture that they want to preserve. How dare they? But we want to hear from you guys. Do you think this is racial bias? Do you think that they should have been promptly arrested or not? I'm Hassan Pike, this is Grace Baldrige, and we'll see you next time on Pop Trigger.